It sounds like a misfire to me. I just broke my hood. The first drive just went even to a more horrible spot. I'm just gonna leave the car here. I'm out. I'm honestly just out. Boy. Obviously, you're rocking driven legends. What's going on YouTube? This is my 2009 Nissan 370Z. And in the last video, we brought it back to life and turned it into an absolute supercar destroyer. And in this video, we're turning up the boost and making it even crazier. Behind me, we have a car that I've had since I was 17 years old. I'm now 23. And that may not sound important, but it is for today's video. When you're young and you're modifying a car, you don't really care about the little things of the car. For example, fender liner, under shroud, and exhaust that's not just loud, but also sounds good. I've really grown up the past year, so much of the fact that I made custom fender liners, and today, right now, we're installing something I've always wanted on this car. Ever since I started switching bumpers around, I lost my under shroud. Well, I didn't lose it. It broke and then I never put one on because I didn't really care about it on the shroud. But fast forward, I care a lot now. And I'm so excited to say, right in this box, there's a very high quality aluminum under shroud for the car right behind me. Sheesh. An under shroud is also known as a splash shield. And the main purpose of it, is for stability, so your bumper doesn't flap around, and to obviously protect the underside of the car. And all those things are very, very important. Oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> Here we got the front. Here we got the middle one with a nice Z1 logo. This is a Z1 undershroud. And in the back, we do have service panel. Well, just like every Danny Z video, we run into an issue. The undershard cannot be bolted up properly because it's hitting the intercooler piping. So we pretty much had to scratch the whole project and pretty much give up. This bumper. Are y'all seeing this? I'm like, what the heck? I don't think I've ever felt such a firm bumper in my life. Like this thing is like attached to the freaking chassis of the car right now. So you come down here, you have the whole Z1 under shroud. As you can see, we had to cut that little piece, but I mean, it still looks perfect. Oh man, this thing is so sick. And it goes all the way back there. The car right now is mega stiff. I'm happy to say there's nothing flimsy on this car anymore, which it makes me so very happy. Like it's incredible. Before we go for the first drive, I do have to go ahead and pull the spark plugs and regap them. And we're gonna be using this. Let's go. So I gotta take them out, make sure they're gapped right, then turn up the boost and then go for a drive. Because you guys remember on the dyno, it was cutting up at 16 pounds of boost. So it doesn't even fit. It's it's actually gapped smaller than 0.08. What's good, baby? Finally, we're gonna go ahead and drive the 370Z. We also did go ahead and change the duty cycle to I believe 52%. So right now we should be like at 16 or 15 and a half, 16 pounds of boost. We gotta keep an eye on that as we're boosting in street. First cold start on E85. Oh, this is so exciting. And funny enough, we also do have to go ahead and fill up the car with E85. So that's gonna be another exciting run. Also happy to see the fans do work now. There was a fuse blown. We were literally on the dyno doing like 20 runs with absolutely no fans. We're also at 70% ethanol basically. I thought we were getting 80, but we ended up not getting 80. We'll see when I fill up the car again. Maybe it'll bring it up a little bit. I don't know. But if you're wondering why there's no seat, the 370C is so uncomfortable, I just decided to take out the seat. Here's where things started taking a turn. After doing three, four, five pulls, which I sadly lost the footage, but you were gonna see some fun footage in a little bit. The car started misfiring really bad. It would cut, 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 and then randomly hit boost. And it did not feel right at all. I honestly thought the car was blown at a certain point.
So I'm not a misfire expert, but I'm in second gear right now, going at 20 miles per hour. Maybe it's not a miss. I don't. It sounds like a misfire to me. Oh my god. I'm looking at my hood right now. I literally left it open. Oh, well, that's an issue. Your boy left the hood open. Well, or so I thought. Turns out when I did this intro. Ugh. What's good, baby? I actually broke my hood. To be more precise, it was the latch. The first drive just went even to a more horrible spot. I just broke my hood. Uh, the latch was literally stuck down here. <laughs> Definitely not worth it for the intro of the video. That's for sure. Wow. That's great. Let's see if it even starts right now, to be honest. The guy just came up to me and was like, yo, you can't be here because this whole road is like closed off and private, so. Um, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna leave the car here, I'm out. I'm honestly just out. You know, in the bright side, the hood at any moment could have lifted up and just hit my windshield. Thankfully, that didn't happen. That's a good way to look at things, right? I just wanted to enjoy my car. <laughs> We're gonna use this to put the nut. Oh my God, no, no. What else can go wrong? We're gonna use the resin to go ahead and put the nut back to its place because what broke off was the nut. Put some resin, we should be okay. And we should be okay, shouldn't be that bad. Along with this though, we're also gonna try and use some fiberglass um, strips. This should help a lot. I'm not too upset because it wasn't horrible, but definitely unfortunate, let's get to it. I'm gonna be honest, it's either gonna snap or it's gonna work. I don't know yet. But I'm not gonna go ahead and put it down yet. I wanna leave it out here and just make sure it actually cures. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for like uh, probably like the next two hours and then we'll go wash the car. We're definitely gonna do that today though. I think that worked. Honestly, I hope it worked. But, so let's go wash the car. <laughs> I also just went ahead and we did purchase all the coal packs for the car. Should be here in like two, three days. <sighs> It's really bad. I know it's not recommended that you drive with a mace fire. I'm an absolute idiot, but it is really close to my house and we're gonna go extremely slow. Mr. Misfire has arrived. Here we got all high frequency coal packs, not sponsored once again. First 85 fill up and I'm praying that the car's not misfiring, that we actually fix the issue. So the boost should be up by two pounds or so. And if there's no misfire, we should be putting down a lot of horsepower. <laughs> All right, the reason why I'm filming like up here is because I bought my dream seat and I don't want you guys to see it yet because it would ruin the surprise, so <laughs> let's go for gas. Oh wait, it's on the other side. That's how you know I haven't driven this car in forever. <laughs> you remember the last time we were here and there was no E85? Um, um, oh wait, I think, I think there is, I think there is. There's no E85 again. Ugh. All right, we gotta go to another pump. That camera is also on E, so I'm filling up. Dude, there's no E again? What the hell? Let's go! First successful E fill up. Yes, sir.
Okay, so E is literally a, do a whole dollar cheaper than 93. I think it's gonna take 55 to fill it up. Let's see. Right now we're at 45, so. Oh shoot, 47. Wait, this is crazy. We just jumped up 5% ethanol from a new fill up. Wow, 76, 75% ethanol. That's awesome, let's go. Here we go in the middle of nowhere, Mexico, Florida. 52% duty cycle instead of 48, so boost is definitely way up. Should be making about 16 pounds of boost right now. 600 plus wheel horsepower. Car should be mint, let's go. Oh, and we also have extremely bald tires, so we're waiting for new ones. <laughs> it's so stupid at high speeds. Like, it's it's just dumb. It feels so stupid and amazing. What the he Oh, what in the world? Okay. We're done. We're done. We're done. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. 